everybody, this is Jordi OPS, and you are watching my accessory video. For those people who are wondering, my first accessory video got deleted. I don't know why, but it did. And it was not me. I think it was YouTube or something like that, so yeah. Anyway, um, today we will be making a beautiful golden necklace. We will be making a basic school table. And we will be making a pair of bunk beds. The bunk beds will be needing a hot glue gun, so you need adult supervision. First, we will be starting out with our beautiful golden necklace. This is pretty easy to use, and you get it with regular tin foil, basically. Um, I already have mine made, but I'll show you how to make it anyway. I'll be right back. Alright, I have some golden tin foil. This is the only material we will need to make our LPS necklace. Um, this is how big my tin foil is. It's pretty small, but it will get smaller, I promise. Now, first step, you're going to fold it up just into a big, long line, like this. Now that you have this, you pretty much have your necklace. But, don't skip ahead and put it around your LPS's neck. Not just yet. If you want it to look better, you can make a little bump right here. So it will look like a golden jewel. Um, well, let me show you. Just basically squeeze from the edges inwards. And you will get a little sphere on the edge of your necklace. Like this. And you can tighten around so it's a better circle. And ta-da! Voila! Don't I look beautiful? Now, your homemade OPS necklace is not only adjustable, but it is very breakable. So take very good care of it. But it's really easy to make a new one. So, to adjust it, you just kind of squeeze back here, and it'll fit. Okay, anyway, on to our next item, a basic school desk. Now, these are very easy to make. Um, you will need a toilet paper tube or just some kind of tube like that. And you will also need some cardstock paper, like this. As you can see, my paper is already cut out to a desk size. It is about a little bigger than the size of me. So, yeah. Um, anyway, you can't fit the small piece of paper onto your toilet paper tube, so this is what you're going to have to do. Okay, um, I put some measurements on how big you need to make the base of the desk. So, you just cut along here. If you are young, then you might want a parent to do this. You just cut. And... Then you cut again along this line, okay? You do this because the piece of paper still will not fit. So you just snip right there. Okay, now I cut off a big gap. But now you just fold it and you tape it like that. So you have a small tube. Good. Um, now that you have these two objects, all you have to do is place your piece of paper right on the tube. Now if you want, you can adjust it so it's straight. You don't have to if you don't want to. And you can also glue the tube onto the piece of paper. I guess I just don't like doing that. Okay, now on to our final thing. This is going to be very challenging, so if 
you're not very good with glue and scissors and cardboard, then you might not want to do this activity. Okay, well, you will need some cardboard, you will need hot glue, and scissors. I think that might be all. And if you want to, you can paint it. It mostly looks good painted. Anyway, let me get this desk out of our way. Okay, now let me go get my materials. I will be right back. Okay, everybody. Um, right now, I am surrounded by a bunch of random pieces of cardboard. But they're not very random. Because I have my two bed frame things. And I have my base sticks. Um, there should be one more somewhere around here. And I'll find it later. Anyway. Um, right now you should be plugging in your hot glue gun and letting it heat up. Okay, um, now what you need to do is you need to get one of your boards, which is about three times my size, and lay it on the ground. You might want to put it on a paper towel or something so you don't get hot glue on the ground. Okay, now you grab one of your boards and you place it on the edge of your bunk. Um, this is where you're going to hot glue it. So, you continue with all of them, like one there, and then one over here, and so on. So, this is what it should lo look like. Alright, you basically have your entire bunk bed done. Uh, you can add a little touch-ups if you would like, such as a ladder, paint, sides to your bed, and so forth. Um, it usually looks best if you do add those touch-ups, but I don't think I will. Um, so that's how you make a bed. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, guys, just taking a little nap. Uh, well, I think that is all. <laughs> What's that? <gasps> Time for one more. What do you want us to do? <laughs> a couch? All right, if you say so. Okay. Well, since you guys are all watching, we are going to be making a couch. Couches are pretty similar to beds, except they will be covered in, well, in my case, jean. It's my favorite, and that's what I'll use. So, come on. You want to tell them how to make a couch? <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll be taking a nap in my brand new bed. <laughs> that means follow me. guys, Mr. Dinosaur was kind of tired, so I let him take a nap. I will be taking on from here. Well, seems we already have our 
items. Um, so basically what you're going to do from here is cut your couch in half. It will make you have a better couch form. So let me go do that. Alright, I cut mine in half. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your jean, a little piece, and you're going to cut this in half as well. Okay, now that you do that, uh, we are going to be taking care of one part of your couch at a time. Let's use this piece. Now you take one of your pieces of jean and you glue it on like this. Repeat to the other piece of cardboard. Except this time, you don't have to glue over the whole entire piece of cardboard, just one side. Now that you have these two pieces of jean covered cardboard, you can glue them together for your finished couch. This is what your couch should end up looking like. Um, if you use jean, it makes it look like a nice old timey type of couch. You can use any type of material you want for your couch and, well, I prefer jean. So, this is my couch, and I hope yours came out just as good. Well, that sure wraps up everything. Well, today's lesson, we learned how to make a bunk bed, which I learned can also be used as just one single bed, a basic school table, which can also be used as a nice coffee table, a couch, and a beautiful necklace. Well, come back next time. Bye!